What's new for the countdown? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. How is everyone doing? Hello. Hello. Hi. Valkyrie Knight, welcome in. You are my first hello. First person to say hello to me. Kenneth, Yoshi Varob, welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. Stream Element Spot, welcome in, sir. <laughs> welcome in. <sighs> Aaron, Savvy Black Kid. Wolf King, Soul Banner, hello. How is everyone shellacking today? Yeah, I just gotta rotate a couple things here. Jules Diamond, welcome in, sir. Thank you, Douglas. What type of dog, Valkyrie? What type of dog? Do Sally? Well, hello from Mississauga. Toronto. Hello from Mississauga. Sir. Blue healer. I've never heard of a blue healer. James, welcome in. Div Sally, I saw that you became a channel member off, off, uh, off stream. Thank you so much for your channel subscription. Oh, that's a cute dog. It's, it's like an Australian cattle dog. Very cute, very cute. Yeah, Div Sally, thank you for your channel membership. Okay, let me just untangle my headphones here. I also think I'm going to eventually. Finally join the Discord, run it. Yeah, it's handy. It's handy. David, welcome. Welcome in, welcome in. Just give a couple more minutes for people to join in. We did start a little bit early. Houston. Welcome from Canada. No, oh, that's the wrong scene. There we go. Top left. Top right. Happy gamer. Hopefully you're happy. Happy, happy family day if you're in Canada in some sections. I think it's President's Day in the United States right now. I think if you're in the U.S. it's President's Day. Don't quote me. Jamaica. Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite was such a good game. So, 
overall goal for this stream is we're going to do a two hours, probably two hour stream. If you all are down with that. Guess I go over some, I did a couple rotations of my items and weapons going with no ammo. That's not a good idea. No school today! Well, it's streams. Alright, let's get started. Okay. Guys, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. We are continuing on with the story here. I'm pretty sure this is Chief part Huff. 15. Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Catalo await you within. So, yeah, force the, the third. Be starting soon. Once it's done. I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne and ether. So we uh, basically forced the third tribe that was holding out on us to finally join the Karut. And now we're going to have a fight scene, I think. So we'll see how this goes. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena. Past the throne. Past the throne. This must lead to the arena. The arena, you know, epic stuff's about to happen here. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. They know a battle is coming. Aloy, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. Are we good with the uh, commentary to game audio? Let me know if you would like some things adjusted. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that. The defenses will hold. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. There's armor in that chest. Take it. It might be Oh, baby. Good. May it keep you safe. Really weak against electricity, though. 
but there's a cool head head garb. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. We'll assist Marshal Catalo with guarding the chief. We all have our orders. We'll see the cool route through. Nah. Uh, the cool route will start as soon as we can. Why can't I go through this door? Yo, guys. Guys. There's an invisible wall here. We all have our orders. Let's see the rule. Good day. Truth and strength. It's your hand that made this happen. Be vigilant. Here, one of the sky the means to make good on her. this a battle's coming the ten you stood firm. In the you're watching history out this is a ceremony not entertainment mr kote this thugs of course thugs what an honor easterner didn't think the sky commander himself would be joining us today if there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Here we go. Okay. Hikaru's defenders should be at the end of this trench. But we must go. And look. We are not alone in this fight. Lots of traps. We're gonna save all the traps until it gets really sticky. This rock is gonna serve me well. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Chaplain's gonna die. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below, but from above. Oh. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! Take down a machine shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory. Hey, I want to see how these guys go about this. Amateurs. Uh, if it was me, I go for the small ones. The small ones would be easier to take down. Hold them back! Defend the 
the cool route. Let's call me the Terminator man. Oh, never mind. I feel like I should save be saving this. Fish the barrel here. Oh, that actually actually blasted me back. He shot me back. How dare he? I'm gonna see if I blast the big ones. Oh yeah, baby. Level two. Almost out. I'm almost out. Oh, big one! Oh, put down pretty easily, actually. Oh, we got more! We got more! Bless! I thought, I thought for a second I was gonna have to go down there. Nah, we should stay up here. That weak spot on the side. Oh, what do we got here? The paternal thing. It's probably be trying to target weak spots, but nah. Yo, dude, give me that gun you got there. Stop! He's already dead! Oh, no, he's just small. You guys... Fine, fine, fine. We're good! We're good! Easy! Snake! What is that? Happy is back. I don't know. It's the snake. Hold the defenses. Go. Don't go down there. Oh my God! What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Stay up there. Just shoot them. See that before? Get up. Face me. First me. Oh, there's the snake. Get to the weapon. If I can draw that thing close, open fire. <laughs> That's right, over here, you big worm! Hot the rock at it. Okay, okay, okay. I pray that the Nazis will fire a few shots from that ballista. It has a poisonous sack at the bottom. Got to avoid. Oh my god, that was a poor shot. Oh, 
for. Oh! Okay. You guys do what you gotta do. Oh my god. Wasn't that sack weak against? Okay, 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 okay. Dude, like, what the fuck? Bro. Okay, that may just mowed me down. Okay, 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 okay. Reload, reload on food. What the hell? <laughs> uh oh. It's not a good place to be. I'm in position. Let's bring How do you down. why am I so so low? Just do it! Don't tell me your plan, just do it! Rotated to poison. <coughs> now it's still on poison. Still on poison. You need to work faster, guys. I am not doing well. Maybe we should slow down a bit. It's moving too fast for me. Every element the snake has. Daddy! Firing! That hits its mark! Reloading! Yeah, the rockcaster looks really long. Lining up the shot! Strike, get in there. Get in there. Keep up the tension. Keep, keep critical striking, man. Fire it. Oh, my God. Gotta slow down again. It's moving too fast. Can't see where I am. Like, 
like caught inside of it. Dude, like what the hell? Did money damage. I, I burst it sacks. Oh. It deaded. It deaded. First try. Finally. I hate those things. Loser. I after Hikaru and Katalo. I gotta get to them. I need to reload before I proceed. Let's ro go around the arena, collecting everything I could use because possibly we're gonna have to encounter another battle. I'll gather this while I can. Yeah. It's hot. All the healing items, I think. Let's reload. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. be helping but I guess not you guys got it Guys, Katalo. Face me in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. 
Yeah, you better run. This isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. I find she's a very uninteresting character so far. Kind of uninteresting. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Dala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the ten. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. Well, let's see around here. We got some lore kicking. The visions in the grove have changed. The words of the ten are now clear to us. Here, this must be the vision that Chief Ikaro saw years ago. All of the visions are changed, and this one just. Ooh. Kind of want to go watch them all. Should we watch them all? All the visions? Aloy, here. Let's talk. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? Visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, 
We can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? Zo, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. He only has one to give, Justin. <laughs> this will be a test. All right, I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Might be worth checking out. We got lore. Whether at home or abroad, JTF-10 protected assets critical to the insurrection. Are any of these challengers Deep worthy jungle, of the title? Concealed by no will darkness, be blood spilled they made no gaps for their enemies. Quiet, you guys. I'm trying to watch the movie. God. Yeah, my squad's heading out soon. We'll join the rest of the defenders. Regala will fall. Discover how JTF-10 claimed home field advantage in the... JTF-10 seized key yours. assets all across the desert. Where others feared the Mojave's raging sandstorms, JTF soldiers used them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. Uh, at least they're all short. Observe the grid of JTF-10 in the mountainous Regal regions of the hot the zone. It won't be long now. Trained to outlast, conditioned for any climate. JTF-10 were elite defenders in even the most remote mountain landscapes. Propaganda, propaganda everywhere. Aloy. Out in the field or relaxing at base, Joint Task Force 10 acted as one. Led by Colonel Edward De La Hoya, their bodies and weapons were always honed for battle. Meals, ink, bruises. These daredevils of the sky shared it all. Do you have a moment? God, stop! I'm coming! <gasps> Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Kavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Shame! With many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. 
Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. What made Kavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. And as for Kavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. You said Kavo's your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. So if Kavo didn't listen to you when he joined the Rebels, what makes you think he will now? Kavo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. If Kavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The Chief knows the value of mercy. And the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Kevo's squad went. Shall we head out? Let's go. Good. Exactly. This way. The outpost isn't far. Thank you for taking me straight there. Oh, never mind. Wow. Okay. Yeah, imagine we just murdered him by accident. I don't think the game would do that to us. You know, the rebels aren't going to give up without a fight. Then we'll have to give them one. The bloodshed won't end until Regala is defeated. But what matters is the soldier they took captive, Nikala. She's been their prisoner for some time now. She's my only lead to finding Cabo. We'll get her back. And then Cabo too. Thank goodness it stays triple loaded. The outpost should be just ahead. You take point. I'll follow. Yo, there's no meat left on this thing. <laughs> we pop three hours. <laughs> mm, pigeon meat. Another rebel outpost. I need to take out the leader. Okay. So obviously, going through the front door is not a greatest idea. So let's not do that. Try to implement some stuff here. If possible, probably get up top that power sub. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I see you. I see you, Hook. Okay, lady. Don't you be busting my cover, please.
Come, Aloy. Back to the task at hand. I feel like a drowned rat. I think that's him. That's the commander, isn't it? Yeah, he's the leader. Okay. I'll rest here until you return. Good call, lady. So, general idea of stealth yeah. is to go up top and move your way down because enemies never ever look up. Locked! Locked! What the bullshit's that? I'll wait here. Now, just make sure I have everyone that I need tagged. Okay. Just think you should turn around on me. How the hell did you get down here? Also, could just, um... I also could just... We strike together. Are you kidding me? We must press the attack. Lady, you are blowing my stealth. Intruder. I'll take her down. I can't believe that just happened. Oh, well, there goes the stealth element. I'm not, I'm not helping you. She literally blew all, all, all stealth cover. Now this is a find. So we could just literally could just leave the outpost. And we would take it, but might as well just blow these guys down now. Oh my god, lady, relax. Get her. Okay, the fail in that stealth was not me. That was on her. She literally just shot the animal before I had an opportunity to do anything. You guys saw. That wasn't me. Still in this fight. One more. This will be over soon. That's all of them. Our scouts said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. Well, I know what the key's for. Key's for up there. And I like how as soon as I uh, killed them all, the weather changed for the positive, which is just great. Thank you. I'll wait here. Will you wait here? You're just gonna give away my position like you did last time. That's what you said.
Better be good. Tags from dead soldiers. I should return them to the grove. Come, Aloy. Back to the task at hand. Going down. There. That's the post. Well, no Nakala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. There. Tracks leading away from the post. Where do they go? There's rope. Just enough to bind someone. Stuff for the stash. Her rope's uncut. Did Nakala escape? I have a bad track for me. Blood. From the rebels or Nakala? So much stuff to grab. Dead end. No. I think there's something under that wood. Take my hand, Nicola. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplain? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? <sighs> Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. <sighs> How'd you end up here? We're looking for Cavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. Cavo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll, we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cavo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet. We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. Denial's not just a river in Egypt. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. Oh, hello. Fireballs. Lots of valuables. Bear with me one sec, guys. Bear with me. Hi, true gamer. Hi, Mad Dog. Love from South Carolina. Thank you guys for showing up today. Make sure we grab everything before we leave this place. You never know what's gonna come in handy. One more. 
Did I get any skill points? I got two. Too bad I can't take that thing with me. It'd be sweet. Where's my mount? My bully, fire bristle back. Oh my god. The lens flare. So unnecessary in my eyeball. Honda. Holy shit balls. <laughs> so far away. Dang. Oh, you can't make that jump? One shot. The hell is that? This marks the start of alien territory. That guy just fell from the sky. What you got for me? You got rumor? You. Let me take a look at you. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood. Or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight. Yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you're gonna need help if you plan on surviving the clan lads. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well, then. I've heard rumors that the Old Ones left treasure in the ruins west of here, by the coast. Some of our squads have tried to find it, but none have succeeded. Sounds like a challenge. I better have taken a look when I can. I heard a rumor. You got anything new? A rock breaker circulate. Ooh, new element. Uh, rock breakers are so hard to kill, though. Oh my god. New Nora outfit. Claw jam circulator. Utaru hardware. Oh, we're on purple now, guys. We're on purple. It's so expensive, though. I literally can't afford anything here. Tread carefully. Hmm. Strong smell. You are the bristleback. I really wish this uh, thing would disappear. I know the riding mechanics now. I don't need you to pop up every single time. Feeling exposed out here. Without the cover of the jungle. things. Oh, 
Devil's Edge. I think you should be waiting for me in there. Ten should be good. What you got? Buy local food? I'm telling the truth. Listen to him, Oroke. Not a chance. He's a traitor. Dekka, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Oroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the Chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Kavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him. Sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan. Your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want, after we stop the attack. Why destroy this village? I thought Regala's fight was with Hikaro. Hikaro was a lowlander before he was chief. Unlike the Desert and Sky clans, we stand behind him without question. Fall's Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. It's true. Our orders were to cut off Hikaro's support from the Lowland clan. But I thought that meant disrupting supply routes, not slaughtering an entire village. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the rebels, I thought Regala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance. So when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. If Cavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels? Built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Why is he not opening Open up, his okay. eyes? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Cavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare armed boy. The right has been called. Cavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. Thanks for dropping by, Robert. Bristle back. Don't leave me. 
I just need one second, ladies and gentlemen. I just have to use the bathroom real quickly. Real quick, we're right back. Hello! So I wanted to say hi. Can we get Zoe emotes in the chat, please? Let's see those Zoe emotes. Yeah! <laughs> She's hungry, it's almost dinner time. Okay. Thank you for dropping by. Stop drinking water during the stream. Maybe I'd have to, I would have to pee less. Okay, continue on. Rescuing this kid's rescuing this lady's grandson. Let's go. Let's get it. The campfire that Cavo mentioned should be nearby. What's taking so long? They should be here already. Someone's waiting ahead. But not Cavo or rebels. Friends of Cavo's? Going to have to take them out to get to that campfire. Wow. All I got is a shield. Probably would be best to take the shield guy out first. Wonder if still now. False alarm. Call it off. So much style. It's a problem that he's looking this way. What's the word? I think he's looking this way. So heavy. Oh, you know how we killed Any that guy. Rebels waiting to ambush whoever showed up. Cavo has some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Oroke. All right. So what, what? What are we guessing here? Is this guy is Cavo a dirty snake, or do we believe him? Place your bets. Place your bets. Packs full, but my stash has room. Dig weapon there? No. Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. 
Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, or okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. I think Aroke is gonna die. Poor Aroke. Up this way. You first. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. We're gonna go first just because I'm faster. I don't want any of that slow climbing that you guys are doing. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna be walking into an ambush. It just looks empty. Where is everyone? No rebels, no machine. What did I say? Over there, by the falls. Hey, I should try using something more than shock ammo. If that thing runs through the falls edge, the village stands no chance. We will stop them. Right here. On your lead, Aloy. Nothing will stand in our way now! Grab your gear! We march on Fall's Edge! Standing in the way. I'm about to freaking fire arrows and this guy is like burping around. A barrel just blew up. A bullet barrel blew up beside me. Where is everyone? No rebels, no machines. What did I say? Over there, at the falls. Are you kidding me? Thing runs through Falls Edge. The village stands no chance. Then we stop them. Right here. On your lead, Aloy. Nothing will stand in our way now! Grab your gear. We march on Falls Edge. Okay, I gotta take out the guys up top first. Frost air. Burn, baby. We're under attack. It's Cabo. He led them right to us. I've got your back.
patching all this stuff first. Have a triple. Wow. I suck. I really suck. Mask off of you. Come on, detach. In the butt. Don't have enough stamina yet. More arrows, please. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. Slow you down a little bit. It's weak against poison, right? Literally one shot at me. He literally one shot at me. Where is everyone? No rebels, no machine. What did I? Say? That was so dumb. Over there, by the falls. Wow. What a threat if we start to show them off. If that thing runs through Falls Edge, the village stands no chance. How did he kill me? Then we stop them. That was so stupid. On your lead, Aloy. Nothing will stand in our way now. Grab your gear. We march on fall day. Dude, this thing is so inaccurate. Blaze drum. We're gonna get rid of the guys first. Let's get rid of the guys just in case everything is good. Because I don't want to get shot at. We'll stay here. Get near this thing. We build. It does some traps. 
Don't walk into my traps. Be more careful this or second time around, third time around. Oh, what are you doing? What is that nonsense, man? How? He does have a little weak spot on his chest, too. Down just a tiny bit. Do your worst. Fire going on. Oh my god, he nearly died there. Rocks at me, please. Cover. Burn him out. Triple. Burning. He's burning. I'm ready for this. Still get smoked by something randomly and it'll be okay. Like that. Don't get smoked by something like that. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, we did it.
Dude, that was... White mission. Salvage. I mean, first try! First try! That's what I mean. Got everything we needed. It's chat. You, I guess you're not a filthy traitor after all. Cavo, you're bleeding. I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped because of your warning. You saved many lives today. Come on, let's get you back to Falls Edge. I guess I cracked some ribs too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Dekka know what happened. I would fast travel back, but this place is going to take me to a section that I haven't been before yet. So I will walk it. Plus, we get to see the nice forest. I lied. May your blade be bright. Truthy. Lasting. All right. Leave yourself. Uh. Could still be a snake. Like he killed that guy on the way back. You never know. You never know. Only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cavo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the Lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Them shifty eyes. <laughs> Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Falls Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo. Blood for blood. Skill points. Walk in the light of the visions. Shield wires can be fired from certain trip casters, generate shield points. 
Oh, he must be giving me a new weapon. Voila. So, I actually found out where you can change your face paint. Because I could not figure out for the life of me how I should have used... It's actually in the bulwark is the earliest point in the game where you can change your face paint. You, Outlander, come and trade. No. Just have to find them. He's somewhere around here. You heard him. Move it. Top. It's probably one of those question marks. It's a lot of like renting over going over there. Yeah, it's not a menu option. It's uh You don't have to do this, you know. I want to be here. Ah, here we go. Alright, which one do you guys feeling? What are we feeling, guys? I feel like I don't want to cover up Aloy's beautiful face though. Just keep it subtle, just a little subtle. Just a little touch of blue? Pentoff. You're... Aloy! Well met. What are you two up to? Penta is finally getting his soldiers mark inked. Rocco is here to be a witness. It'll be an honor to watch you try not to yelp in pain. I'm glad to see you're getting the recognition you deserve. Thank you, Aloy. Dude, why does the game like do those weird black flashes? Throws me off. Ah, we need dire clothing here. Translucent. You could take another look. Okay. That's me. I guess we're going to Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Oh wait, no, we gotta go drop off the stupid thing. We gotta drop off that kernel that has ether. Because we can't, the container can't hold more than two. What? Rumor? Oh, I tried, I see you, oh, it works this time. I tried doing this last time, it didn't work. You're the one who defeated Gruda. Stood up to Regala when she betrayed us at the Karja Embassy. I can't say the clan lands will be welcoming, but you can count on me to be your eyes and ears out here. The West is full of dangers even a warrior like you should look out for. Speaking of, you should know the rebels have been busy. They've set up outposts to the West. And I know the marshals can't deal with all of them, so I'd stay alert out there if I were you. Thanks for the warning. That was terrible intel. Getting rid of those outposts might stop the rebels from killing more of their own. Maybe I can lend the marshals a hand. <laughs> Spider Aloy in the house. Oh, 
like this? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I see glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. That's their super sexy word. That's secret sexy talk. It's like saying hippopotamus. We gotta go. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup. Like the Karcha. Why? The heck? Yeah, it beats me. It probably meant something to them. Ooh. As it does to my people. And the Tanakh. I just think my face says it all as is. That's all. That Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... Vision you keep in this place Gaia and gave me this focus I, I don't pretend to fully understand everything but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight welcome to the team then what are you looking at over there the others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me so I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy this Hephaestus it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. What do you think of our squad? They seem eager to fight. Though I admit it is strange to see a new Taru in the ranks. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. She seemed pretty effective when she took out the machines that were guarding this base. Interesting. Perhaps I am mistaken. Let's uh, try to lower the amount of chat about what we think it's going to happen that far into the game because it opens the door to people who already know what happens to just spill the beans. So, yeah. You said the bulwark was your home a long time ago, that you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're going to tell me? Yes. Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. 
As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal, and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the Wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings, and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess, and it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Root. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. Indeed. That's it. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hakaro and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the ten walk with you. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. <laughs> yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land. 
when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I gotta go. I'm here if you need anything. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. But with the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, the tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. How's, uh, training with Zell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. Jealous? Is Aloy jealous? You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside. Without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. I'm guessing you've spoken with Katalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. For a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Aaron definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. She looks so different without her headdress. Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know. What to <laughs> we tell killed her. one of our gods. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. 
I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sunring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. I couldn't have been easy, seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong, day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zoe. I made it a point to appear before the Chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head-on, but we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakhs defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakhth? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakhth looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakhth saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But 
some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zenith? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the... data you've collected, and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us, so we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... metal. Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. The Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. But Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. I want to know between you and Varl. That's what I thought. Oh, wait. That is no option. Right. I should probably go. All right, let's talk to Gaia. I shall return to our training then. Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Gaia? What is this? It is a control console for a drone based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So, this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but. The drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could get the data from them, use it to reconnect them, and restore the display. Uh, that's what those, that purple stuff that I keep encountering is. Two kernels down. Two subroutines left. Sorry, two subroutines. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A 
word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Aluthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Aluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. <laughs> it's quad goals. <laughs> yeah. 237 is definitely a password. Cradle of Echoes. Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when Ooh. I get. Oh. Where? Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Looks like Aaron and Catalo moved their stuff in. Make yourself Gaia, at home. What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Oh, that's too bad. Spend some skill points. The survivor tree is pretty good because we get more stuff. I feel like we should be investing it in this first. Anything that gives us more 
material while we collect it is always good. Okay, quest lines. So Cradles of Echoes has to be done first. We cannot go to Vegas until we get Cradles of Echoes done. Makes sense. Seems like it's a priority at the moment. Got a new weapon. Perimeter Tripcaster. Which maybe unequip coil. Equip this one. This one has the shield, which is pretty sweet. Whoops. Whoops. We'll try out we'll try out that shield in the next one. Okay. Guys, that'll be it for the stream. Thank you guys for coming out. We've got two hours into the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll mix, continue mixing in uh, these Horizon streams with some VODs as well that you guys can watch your own time. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the gameplay and you had a good day off. We'll be back a little bit later uh, for some Genshin Impact later tonight. But I got some stuff, other stuff to record I got some unboxings to do. Then I also have some other side projects. And I also need to start writing my review for uh, Dying Light. So, yeah. Look forward to all those videos coming to a sub box near you. And thank you for coming out. And we'll see you guys. And we'll play together very, very soon. All right? Have a great night.